Hey everyone, it's Shannon and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm honestly so freaking excited. I'm gonna be trying to actually recreating my favorite YouTubers outfits. I went through like all their Instagrams yesterday, select some outfits, order some stuff. I am honestly so excited. I feel like there's some different styles in here. I thought this would be a real fun, like chilled video. I haven't tried any of the outfits on yet. I haven't even like opened them all out. I thought it'd be fun to do it together. Um, so yeah, I really hope you all enjoy this video. If you do then please make sure to smash that button and of course subscribe down below and yeah let's just get into the video first outfit i'm gonna be trying to recreate is from sophia tuxford this outfit honestly i'll pop it on the screen is sick like i saw it and i was like you know what i need to try it out i would never pick myself a vinyl pair of trousers and i just think these are sick you guys know how i feel about brown it's like my favorite color so i was like you know what i'm gonna recreate this outfit i managed to get the same freaking trousers that she's got on in the photo so let's open them up and see here they are i'm usually when i get trousers a waist 26 length 32 and they only had waist 24 length 32 or waist 30 length 32 all the other sizes were literally gone so i was like you know what? i'm just gonna get the waist 24 try and squeeze myself in them because i knew the waist 30 would be way too big then before i checked out i just had a quick look and waist 28 came back in stock so i feel like these might still be a little bit big for me but a lot better than not fitting in them at all or them being way too big how oh, sick of these oh what does that sound oh my god these are actually so cool i actually low-key in love a little bit but these aren't high-waisted either because she kind of wore them and they kind of fit like underneath her belly button so i'm hoping that because my hips are a little bit wider these might actually fit quite well but how cool are these i actually cannot wait to try these on wow they look sick. The next thing that she wore was like a brown hoodie that she kind of tucked up. I'm gonna lie, for this video, I literally had to kind of stick for ASOS and PLT because that's what I had next day delivery for. I'm pretty sure her jumper was from Nasty Gal, but I hopped onto PLT. I had a brown hoodie, which is literally identical. This actually feels really good quality, to be fair. I got this in a small because that was the only size they had left. And this actually looks like a well nice hoodie. And then she had the hat. But the beanie that I found was the closest one that I could find. And there was one that was either like really, really like yellowy. And I was like, oh no, or there was this one i was like joe i'm gonna go for this one because this one looks a little bit nicer so this is the hat i picked up oh it feels really weird <laughs> it's like a hard kind of material i feel like this again is quite similar and will go with the outfit quite well i'm not really a beanie sort of person by the way guys i'm embracing the natural hair today although i'm trying to tuck it behind because i hate i hate my short hair but i'm gonna try and style my hair how they've kind of styled it and all the photos well i'm gonna try my best anyway and then i do actually have the same shoes as her are the air force shadows so i feel like i've probably nailed it with this outfit apart from the bag i mean i'm pretty sure in all the outfits that i've picked they've all got bougie bags so i mean we're just gonna ignore the fact that i don't have the bag for this so i'm gonna try this on now and then come back on camera and give you guys my full opinion obviously because my camera is like landscape i'm gonna do like a stand up try on clip as well on the side so you can get kind of like my full body length i'm actually really excited oh my god you guys i'm honestly in love how sick i'm not gonna lie the trousers are really big however i feel like the waist 24 would have been too small i really want to try these trousers with the waist fitting perfectly because i actually think that these are sick like they're a little bit of a vibe i'm not gonna lie the hat is a bit funny and honestly it's so tight on my head and it's like really like itchy material then like a little makeshift with this jumper and like tied it up at the back if i had the louis vuitton bum bag i actually think i would have probably nailed this look here like my sphere tucks for Jeff. <laughs> I didn't have a hat. I actually feel like I would actually go out wearing this. I'm not gonna lie. I really want these trousers where they fit me. These are so cool. I actually need them in my wardrobe. ASOS Note 5 Me is going on. Get these in a waist 26. I actually need to take this off. I've got a hat hair. So first outfit, I feel like it was a pretty much a success. I just really wish I had that freaking bag to make the outfit complete. The next outfit I'm gonna be recreating is from the queen herself. Of course, I had to recreate a morning May look in this video. So this is the look I'm gonna be recreating. That blazer is absolutely gorgeous and i want it so bad it was from zara cannot find it anywhere to be honest trying to find a dupe for that blazer because that blazer is literally stunning was a bit of a task i kind of found one not gonna lie like it's not the best however we're gonna work with it i've got the boots but i'm gonna start off with the blazer i picked this one up from asos and like i say this was kind of like the nearest one i could find and i'm just already like you know what I mean? like 
camera, like, I'm really not sure. So this is the blazer I picked up. To be fair, it's actually not that bad. I feel like the color match is quite good. It's a completely different material, but it's all right. We can make it work. And then we have got the famous green boots, which these aren't the Zara ones. These are the PLT version. And I feel like these are literally identical. They're such good quality as well. Some of you that follow me on TikTok might have already seen these, but I actually love these so much. These are sick. I actually do have a black pair coming, not gonna lie. Just picked up my go-to black leggings. So that's kind of what she had on the photo. These ones are really thick as well. Go wrong with a pair of black leggings. For the scarf, I looked on ASOS for like a black and white scarf and I was having a hunt round for like a black and white scarf. I'm gonna be honest, I literally couldn't find one that I thought was like worth getting. So I just decided to stick to a black one, but I found this like black knitted one. I feel like this is gonna be a nice big knitted scarf, which makes up for the fact that there's not any white in it, but it's actually so nice. I honestly did not think that this outfit would top the first one, but it's only gone and done it. I'm obsessed and I actually want to go get an Instagram photo in this, but I feel like it's literally so obvious that I'm just copying Molly Mae, so I don't really feel like I can. However, this outfit is sick. If I had the Zara blazer on right now, I would honestly be in my element. Not quite the Chanel scarf, however, I feel like it's not even that bad. I would definitely wear this out. Boots are honestly to die for. Make sure to comment down below which outfit is your favorite at the end of the video. Now I'm preferring this one to the first one. Next person's outfit that I'm going to be recreating is Olivia Neal. I actually couldn't not recreate one of her looks. I think her style is sick. She's a vibe. She loves baggy trousers, which of course I love them. I'm gonna pop on the screen the first outfit that I wanted to recreate. I'm joking, you guys. I could not find a red jacket that was similar to that in any way. So I boycotted that and then I decided to go for this outfit. I feel like she's got the same kind of trousers and I'm gonna kind of guess that she's got the same shoes on. I do have the same shoes, which are these Balenciagas. So I thought these were perfect for the outfit. And then I did pick up two pairs of leather trousers. I've kind of already made made my mind up on what ones I want to wear. So they are from Pretty Little Thing and to be honest I've seen them on there for a while. These ones are just really baggy and the ones that she's got are the same design on the leg but maybe like a little bit less baggy. They're just your standard leather baggy trousers. Wow these are sick and the ones that she's wearing have got that line in the middle so I thought this was like a sick little dupe version. And then the top I feel like I kind of failed a little bit. I'm pretty sure that top's from Sheen and I'm not gonna lie trying to find a brown tie-dye top was similar to that in any sort of way it was so difficult and that top I've wanted to pick up from Sheen like I've seen it I'm pretty sure it's from Sheen or I've definitely seen it like in places and I've been debating getting it and I just never bought it and now I'm like Shannon why did you not buy that it would have been perfect. So I kind of went for the next best thing which is this I don't know what do you guys think I think that nah, it's just no way similar but I feel like it's a tie-dye top it's got the little tie-ups on the side this material is actually really soft like the photo again and that top this is just not it <laughs> i mean i tried i've done this quite last minute then believe it or not guys i actually have all the puffer coats in the world you guys know that um but i don't have a black puffer and i do have well i say i don't have a black one i do have a black one it's at uni and it's like three four years old so I had to purchase another one. I had five black puffers that were a lot better than this one that I've got to show you, but all of them decided to be out of stock. So I went for this one, which I mean, it's not great, but again, we'll make it work. But it's just a really basic black puffer coat. They did have one which was a bit more similar, but it had a hood. No, the North Face doesn't have a hood. So I went for the no hood option. I thought it was actually really inexpensive. And to be fair, it's actually quite nice. Then obviously I had to get the sunglasses. The outfit wasn't complete without the sunglasses. I do a good job on the sunglasses. These are, wow, these are a bit... Wow, I actually love them. I cannot wait to put this whole outfit on. I need to try and figure out what I'm gonna do with my hair. I mean, my clipping ponytail would be a good idea, but it's just so long. And can I be bothered to clip in that ponytail right now? I could do it for the video, but then my normal hair's too short. I'm gonna have to try and make something work. I'll be back in a sec. When I say a sec, it's probably gonna be 20 minutes before I'm back. I mean, guys, the outfits just keep on getting better and better. This one's definitely my favorite outfit. Forget the Morning May outfit. Forget the Sophia outfit. No, to be fair, them outfits were sick, but this one, I actually think is a freaking vibe. We're gonna ignore the top of my hair because this bit just doesn't look that good, but if it's to the side, it looks so much better. I've actually nailed it. I'm so impressed with myself. I think the hair's cute, but like not, see if we, like I'm cutting the top bit off the camera and then it looks cute. The jacket as well doesn't even look that bad. The glasses definitely make the outfit. The trousers are so much nicer than I thought. On Pretty Little Thing, on the model, they looked so oversized and they're actually not that bad. We are down to the final outfit. I'm actually so sad. If you guys want me to film this video again, then definitely let me know in the comments. Let me know if there's any particular YouTuber you want me to do, even if there's a particular outfit that they've worn that you want me to recreate. Literally pop it, link it in the comments, do whatever you guys want to do. And I feel like I'm going to be 
recreating this video again. Maybe I should turn it into a little series. Let me know if you guys would want that because I'm honestly loving this. For the final outfit, I've actually chosen Sid from Sid and Elle. Her style is sick and I've chosen this outfit. I feel like it's probably one of the most simplest ones out of all the outfits I've done, but I just thought it was sick and I haven't worn like a baggy pair of jeans in ages. So I really wanted to put some on and I also have the coat that she's wearing. The coat that she's actually wearing is actually from Zara, but the one I've got is from Sheen and it's literally identical. Wait, I'll show you guys. Like, it's literally the exact same coat. Oh my God, I've just got lipstick all over it. So I was like, you know what? I have a coat. That's one less thing I need to purchase. Picked up some sick jeans, which have been in my pretty little thing wish list for ages. So I'm so glad to finally have an excuse to buy them. They are these black washed baggy jeans and I feel like these are perfect because Sid's ones weren't jet black. They were kind of like a wash. And these are two. I also picked up a plain black crop, which I actually wore with Molly May's Zara outfit. I don't even know if I mentioned that. This is literally just like a plain black crop top. Finally get to take my hair out. I'm honestly hating the top part. Like this bit's cute, but it's just the top part of the hair that's not a vibe. I'm gonna lie, obviously this outfit's like a little bit more basic than the other ones. However, it still looks so sick. When I checked back at the photo, Sid actually did have her hair like tied back. I don't know what it was like at the back, but I'm pretty sure it would have been in a low pony because I know she loves having a low ponytail. And I've been loving my hair back recently with like my cute little gold hoops. I just think it's cute. I actually think I'm kind of anti jeans. <laughs> like, you know when you touch a fabric? Like I touched these jeans before I put them on and I was like, like I really didn't want to put them on. Um, however, now they're on, they're actually blessed. But I feel like after lockdown, I'm just going to be wearing like flared trousers and just like normal trousers, not actual jeans. I don't know if I can mentally prepare myself for that. This is your sign to get this jacket from Sheen. I know they have it in quite a few colours now. I'm pretty sure Shane got hers in like a greeny kind of colour. This jacket is sick, such good quality. It's from PLT, are really nice. Actually quite a good length. I am five foot seven. I need to put like an FAQs in my description because the amount of times I get asked how tall I am. Guys, I'm a five foot seven queen. <laughs> yeah, that is the end of the video. I really hope you guys enjoyed. I honestly love doing this video so much. So I really hope you guys enjoyed it too. If you did then please make sure to smash that button and of course subscribe down below. Yeah, I will see you all in my next video.